Kente is a traditional cloth weaved by the Ashantis and Ewes of Ghana. The expensive cloth is worn for important and memorable occasions. The Kente cloth is woven on a narrow horizontal loom, usually using two to four sets of heddles. The cloth is woven in narrow strips before being sewn together to make a wider piece of cloth. It takes weavers months before putting together a cloth. The Bonrea community in the Ajusu municipality of Ashanti region is synonymous to Kente production. Over 70% of residents here depend solely on the production and selling of the traditional cloth to earn a living. Other products like bags, slippers, wristband, and neckties are produced from Kente. The youth in this area usually form groups to market the Kente. Local and international tourists visit Bonre to observe the weaving processes and also transact business with producers. Although almost half of the Bonre town roads have been tied, roads leading to the tourist sites are currently not in good shape. This, according to the weavers, discourages potential tourists and buyers from coming to the community to patronize the cloth. Business in the the price of a kente cloth ranges between 150 and 3,000 cities or more, depending on the complexity of the design. Although the traditional method of weaving kente brings out the uniqueness in the cloth, weavers say the process is very tedious. It takes not less than 24 hours to weave this narrow strip and this according to them contributes to the high cost of the cloth. Now the good news is that some students of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology are manufacturing an automated kente weaving machine and this machine is expected to make the work faster and easier. But let's find out from the weavers what they make of this machine. It's very tedious to do weaving because most of the weaving, it takes like two, three days to make like a strip. That makes it very complicated. So we'll be happy maybe have a means of I mean, doing more. But still, we still want to stick to the tradition because when it changes, it means we are going the channel way and we don't want to do that. We still want to stick to the tradition so that we can use the loom with four inch strips. And maybe that's what we wanted to do. We want to go that way. Some of our elders... The, the grown ones want us to stick to tradition. But if there is a machine which will help us to do or make uh, the cloth faster, then I think it will help us because, as I said earlier, the demand is becoming higher now. So if we have a machine, which it will help us to uh, weave the kente cloth very fast. I think we will embrace it. But always we want to stick to the tradition. Where uh, won't go by uh, the old system which it will be like a material like the what the Chinese people are making but if it will be the same as what we are making right now we embrace it we are all hoping for the best for the kente industry the weaving is very complicated as we all know to get a strip of some of the patterns sometimes take more time like two to three days to get a only a strip so if there are some people just trying to manufacture a machine or whatever to make the weaving very easier to our expectation the only thing we are requiring for is that the surface of the texture I mean the cloth will look same as what we are doing now so if the machine is going to help us to make the texture and the surface looking same as the kente we having today then we will accept it 
the student of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, has manufactured an indigenous automated kente weaving machine to ease the burden of weavers. Ebenezer supervisor, Dr. Fiabe, says the machine will drastically cut down the time for weaving. With the weaving machine, we are expecting that what we can use one month to do, two to three days should be able to we should be able to achieve the same thing. So this is purely automatic and it will cut down the time of weaving. And finally the cost will come down. The mode of operation is the same because with the traditional ones you have um, you have three basic motions. You have the the primary, the secondary and then the tertiary. The primary motion is the picking and then the beating and then the, the shedding. Uh -huh. And then the, the, the secondary motion is the letting off and taking up. The difference is this is automated, fully automated. So that means you just like input what you want, then it starts the, weave, uh, the, the weaving. When you, let's say you, you leave it overnight, when you come back the following morning, that is with uninterrupted uh, electric supply, you have your weave done at the end of the day or in the morning. Weavers at Bon Rese, they will embrace the innovation only if it won't change the texture of the cloth. The weavers are also clamoring for the establishment of a yarn factory in the area to cut down on the cost of producing the traditional cloth. They are optimistic about increased patronage when prices go down. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3, Bonus.